Welcome to Wood John Rather, the best of year one. This is some of my personal, not John, favourite clips from our first year of recording. And this is up definitely not because we didn't have a chance to record an episode this week. So I hope you enjoy. It's all out of context. And I hope it makes as little sense to you as it does to me listening back. So, uh, yeah. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> I've, I've listened to you debate after last week where I uh, stayed silent I've tried to not get too involved because sometimes I do I get a bit too close to the subject I'm going to rule in favour of swords for two reasons number one, I don't trust John with a gun <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't trust John with a bit of wood or and if, how, far, how far and how fast does it fire out? Uh, it didn't. I didn't get a speed. I've done enough googling to for, for one episode. Um, I didn't get a speed, but it is. It did say extremely quick, and obviously they catch moving because flies with it, and and up to five times John's body length. So I mean, it said times. it could. It said it could be foot. between. It said it could be between one and five times. So we'll meet in the middle and say it's three times his body length. So that's that's eighteen feet. So let's go with eighteen feet long tongue. Um, well, all, the, all the videos you see of chameleons when they shoot the tongue out at, at their prey is always done in slow-mo so it's good it's going to be really quick that's going to really upset some people but as a person with a tail so if I, if I have a prehensile monkey tail I could grip with it or oh, just imagine all, all the crazy noises you'd make as you sort of moved around in it would you would you would you <laughs> would you set the jelly and then get into it so uh Matt, talk again so I can talk over you with horrible noises. So is, is there the potential that you would uh, set the jelly and then John would try and climb into the bath and just have to lay on top of it? Because then that's not bathing in jelly, that's bathing on jelly. And then, we're... But then he could wriggle a bit and he'd like sink no, into you it. you would. Not, there's nothing about he, it's you. Oh, <laughs> I was imagining we were bathing oh, together. what, like a half and half? Yeah, why not? Wait, half jelly and half beans, or we're both in the same bath but with something in? I was imagining like sharing my bath of jelly with John because he'd obviously want to bath with jelly. More important, what flavours of jelly? Or oh. that's very cool. That shows the sort of emotional intelligence that you need just to be a human. It doesn't matter how famous or how big you are, you still got to think about others around you, which is why. I don't think that having an explosive personality is beneficial to anyone. Right. Okay. <laughs> um. <laughs> why, do we, why do we always do this to him? <laughs> it's, oh, we, we all right, all right, all right. <laughs> let's, let's, let's settle this. Tyrannosaurus or bookcase? Bookcase. Tyrannosaurus. John wins. What? <laughs> he had to look at Kirsten for backup. Uh, what do I choose? So you've gone with Kirsten knowledge being over an archaeologist. knowledge over crude oil. For real. Uh, crude oil over knowledge, even. That's fine. That makes Matt, perfect how is, sense. How is your car powered? Or oh. right? Would you rather go barefooted or wear clogs? Clogs. Why? A little mouse with clogs the... on went Imagine clip clippity the... clop on the stairs. Where there on the stair, there on the stair, I declare a little mouse with clogs on. Windmill in old Amsterdam, fucking boom. Well, um, I don't know where to go from here. Or like, I don't hate the Jews, but <laughs> or. Oh, it's really hard to argue something that like this um, without <laughs> coming across as a massive horrible person. And you know, it's it's not your fault if you pursue someone who, if they're weak-willed, um, don't settle for less. Do you reckon that if if you if you home wrecked and you you snagged yourself a new man, you'd always have that thing in the back of your head going, "What happens if we find someone better than me? Will I be left by the wayside?" No, because he'll never find anyone better than me. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Here we go. Um, but then, like, if you were just like a home writer, like notorious, like buff, 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 like going through all the men in the development or whatever, like, 
I just feel like you wouldn't have that many girlfriends. And you would just kind of, what's her name? Is it not Anna? Anna Ken- oh, why do we keep referencing classical literature? Anna Karenina? That's <laughs> 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 Anna Kendricks. Or. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's not menial, that's awesome. I'd, I'd, I'd be a, a below average vigilante. That'd be cool. What did you do? Well, I sort of stopped a bank robber for about 20 minutes. What do you, you mean? You'd, you'd be well, kick-ass at the beginning of kick-ass. Well, I handcuffed myself to him for a bit, and then he broke my wrist and struggled <laughs> free. But then the police did catch him because he was the only guy down A&E uh, with marks on his arm from, uh, from dragging a dead weight attached to him by handcuffs. And a big bag that had swag written on it. <laughs> exactly. Um... Uh, another another point I'd like to make is I'm I'm more than happy to admit I'm a below average surfer. Uh, I I do not surf anywhere near as often as I'd like to. I don't own anything like a wetsuit or a board. But when I've rented it out and I've given it a go, I can stand up and I can you know actually catch the wave and ride it. Um, I don't care. I have fun. I don't care if I'm never going to be like Kelly Slater. I really don't. I have fun doing it, and that's what matters to me. I think surfing's awesome, and I'd, I'd love to do it a lot more. What matters and to me is being the person that knows the answer to the crossword question when somebody's got a really difficult one and they ask, oh, what's brown and sticky and has 12 letters? And you go, oh, what the fuck? If I knew the answer to all of those, that would be brilliant. I love how your mind works, and you couldn't think of a clue and a direction and a number of letters all at the same time. <laughs> so, so you went with a random direction, a random amount of numbers, and then half of a joke for children. The answer is lots of sticks. Both you can't No, it's right 11. That's 11. <laughs> it's 11. And also, John... As we discussed earlier, you could you could be that guy who gets his surfboard out of the uh, over the top compartment, and someone can go, "Ha! Oh, you look like Kelly Slater. You're older than Kelly Slater," and you can go, "Yeah," and then just walk away because you're not <laughs> Kelly Slater. <laughs> or I think just having a naked picture of yourself and nose TV is kind of counterproductive. It would get their attention, but then they also do want to know your actual qualifications. <laughs> you know what else would get their attention? Cutting through the silence with a god-awful, <laughs> horrific fart. A deafening fart. One that will blow out the windows and knock over the computer monitor with a pressure wave. Well, we're you all human. You said you're going to try and play that down. So we're all human. Better out than in. And they go, is that the person we want on the team? Well, do we want him to next Julie from Accounts with her... Uh, Sensitive or mouthful each. It's it's a castle, and just like they used to do back in the past times that have been, <laughs> where they would have many many thank courses. Thank you for describing how history and, and time works. And a vomitorium should needs be. In Who fact, wants didn't, didn't, that? Didn't some kings used to have like toilets under their thrones so they could like go as they were eating so they didn't have to stop? And a groom of the stool. And do you know what we're going to do after we've finished our cheese and um, cheese and uh, sticky toffee pudding, John? Walk around with a candle in your drafty, drafty, drafty. Gonna have, book. gonna have a nice whiskey, and then all of a sudden we hear a noise. What's that? And then we do battle with Van Helsing. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! A Zeppelin's crashed into the turret. No, Van Helsing's been sent by Russia to take us down before we take Andorra as our primary. Uh, first hub location in mainland Europe. Okay. You can drink on a Zeppelin. In fact, it's endorsed. <laughs> Are you telling me you can't drink in a castle? No, I'm just saying, you know, you can, you can drink on a Zeppelin as well. In fact, I... if you're not drinking on a Zeppelin, you'll be seen as one of the uh, one of the help. So therefore, you need to distinguish yourself from the help by drinking some fine ass scotch at 7,000 feet. John, I've had a brilliant idea. You sent me in a box in your Zeppelin to Russia, Trojan horse style. Into the Kremlin. I camp out there and stealth like 
Splinter Cell Tom Clancy start taking them out from the inside out, while you, from the north, with your connections with Santa Claus, send down Santa's army from the north. And then not only are we taking... We've already got Portugal, Spain and France with our mainland hub in Andorra, but now we're, we're taking from the west, and now we're taking from the northeast as well, down through Russia... At this point, I've already got Croatia, so the Navy's sorted and we're setting up good trade deals with all of um, Africa. And I'm going to change Santa's list so everyone in central France wants IEDs for Christmas. This is going well. And one phone call levels levels all the major towns and cities. After we've dominated the musical world, can we then try and dominate the board game world and make our version of Risk? Yes. <laughs> or yeah oh did I tell you what I got for I sent you a picture you sent a picture <laughs> yeah that's yeah that's what reminds me <laughs> but anyone, anyone who doesn't know for Christmas my amazing girlfriend got me a Toon Squad jersey with Bill Murray on the back and happy coincidence the number was 22 which happens to be my lucky number I messaged her and I went did you pick the number and she went no and I went oh because it's my lucky number she went why would I know your lucky number? And that's a very, you know, true statement, because why should anybody... Have, we're not children. <laughs> do, do you know your spouse's lucky numbers? Jess is a nihilist. She doesn't believe numbers bring luck. Okay. Uh, no. You're an awful husband. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was... I, I expected her to know my lucky number... But wasn't shocked when I found out that she didn't. And it's one of those weird bits of information that makes me go, yep, that all makes perfect sense. So why has it surprised me? Um, so what Because you saying? had a hard, hard reset last week. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm still learning. That's why I need to go to Sesame Street. Um, what we say? Anyway, yeah, so I'll pay £5 to do what with a woman's football team? Nothing inappropriate. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, cold hard cash, sausage roll and a can of coke every time. Okay. Or if I wanted to no. pronounce my name, if I wanted Obviously to not. if I wanted to pronounce my name Matthew, you guys can't tell me I'm wrong. You can. No, because it's my name. I own it. Well, I think we your used... parents decided what your name was. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to bypass the current question we're on and come back to it shortly because now both of these Johns have irritated me because they've told me I cannot pronounce my name Matthew. So. Would you rather spell your name John with a H or without a H? Keep strong. Don't give him an answer. <laughs> this is solidarity. Or as you probably said, soldered tree or something. No! Why, why have you turned on me? <laughs> <laughs> I turned to you and I had a pop at John at the same time I'm doing alright, I'm, I'm on four <laughs> I, was I had a mouse at the right time that was the very first question I ever wrote down when brainstorming questions and I was waiting until it was like episode 100 or something, like a big a big one to bring it up or this is dog whistle politics yeah this is, this is I, I reckon I reckon slugs claim that their legs don't work and they need blue badges and shit you don't have leg slugs you can't play that card that's not fair do you think there's snails reading like the daily smail and uh, going oh. bloody slugs coming over here stealing our shells joining the snail NP uh, no I, I am I am going to go with slugs just because I do I think I think they're uh, they're overlooked and underappreciated and I just think it's unfair <laughs> very unfair <laughs> Sympathizer. There I am. I'm a slug sympathizer. And what? <laughs> Slugs win. That's alright. I'll, like, I'll, I'll let them slash John have that. They're, they're both. <laughs> all of our all of our slug listeners are, are cheering. Let, let us know on Twitter if you agree that uh, that slugs are underappreciated, and also if you appreciate someone chopping something in the background, or that's possibly. John outside stamping on a load of slugs. <laughs> I wish. 
<laughs> and John, this was just something where he touched me in the wrong way about that. That I was like, right, fuck you. <laughs> or I'd be worried if uh, <laughs> if I were you, because your brother is slightly better looking and uh, could possibly steal the spotlight from you completely. That's absolutely fine. I don't want there to be. I don't want to be that famous. I'd quite happy if this podcast ever got famous, people not know who I am. Like, we'll do the Dead Mouse or Daft Punk thing when we go out on stage and wear, wear helmets. masks, yeah, and helmets. I'd quite <laughs> happily do that. I'm not in this for the fame, and we don't make any money from it either. It actually costs me money, so I'm not in it for the money either. Right, well, I guess it's time I made a decision. <sighs> Ross Kemp wins. <laughs> Oh, so our spreadsheet's going to show John, John, not John, Nathan, Ross Kemp. <laughs> Don't forget Mothra. That's Mothra. <laughs>